what up what up we feel what it do welcome back to the we feel y'all welcome to you welcome 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 i hope y'all had a great monday magnificent monday that it was beautiful i say monday august the 7th we have descended into the evening it's over it's still now though so whenever you get this message it's still good for now cleaning up from earlier read this is for a divine masculine that is um getting ready to go towards a divine femme and let them know what it be like hey i'm looking at you and uh hopefully they do what they gotta do because i love love and i think that's beautiful yes divine masculine king of wine energy with them smoldering eyes that be like ooh, wee. Mm. anywho y'all I hope y'all day was great. I hope it was fabulous. I shame. And you know your girl always. I don't never put my cards away. So I got to clean up. Straighten up. In the meantime. In between time. I was watching. One of my other favorite readers. Miss Peppermint Tarot. Miss Shanita. That girl be so fire. Be, she be cracking me up. She was hilarious. But I mean. Pretty much the same old thing. Though you know. Karmics. Doing some karmic shit. And that's just it. You know, so hopefully folks will get their ish together because it's like, you know, how long are we going to keep having the same reads? But people tend to do the same thing over and over and over again. And if we read the energy, we're going to pick up on it and then you have to keep bringing the read. In. And a lot of people just still in the middle of what they're going through and stuff still hasn't come to a completion hasn't come to an ending quite yet so of course the energy is still going to be out there and if it's out there and people still tearing narc still narking then we gotta keep reading the energy because it's still flowing we and again the game don't change it's just the players you know it just don't but heart chakra energy forgiveness forgiveness is the thing forgiveness is the key and i pray that we practice forgiveness not only for self for whatever decisions we made but for others too i say because i mean you don't even have to be engaged in the fuckery you just don't but that doesn't mean that you don't feel it that you don't get angry that you don't you know get fed up with it you know having some empathy too just lean into that because folks just gonna do what they gonna do like i ain't got to do what you do but i can understand that you do what you do and that's just it that's really the only thing i need to do i mean i really saw judgment i mean i've been fucked around by people and you know it make you have some indecisions about how you should move forward with that but i'm free to move around and that's just it you know what i mean move around and let them folks be where they at and just shit let them sit in it you know exercise some patience that's what we don't do yeah imagination is here we on a spiritual journey y'all and that's where um patience is a challenge we on a spiritual journey and having impatience as you get through it could be a thing you know um especially when people are just doing a whole bunch of fuckery you know what i mean chakras all misaligned what did i say forgiveness didn't i say forgiveness that's it because perfection just isn't perfect you know people go through shit and people are quite frankly you know just be fucked up in the head they you know you go to the look completion did not say shit not over with it's not shit not over with and you get mad about it you be like dang spirit when is it gonna be done i'm sick of these people messing around in my energy and doing all kind of messed up stuff to me and i'm just ready for this to be over with but it's gonna happen in divine timing yeah I said, I left in one of her comments, like, why do people do that? They be trying to, you know, swap your destiny. And people had guilt, you know, and they really don't know what to do with it. Maybe you went to the spirit and asked for something or you did something or whatever the case, whatever you did, you might have a sense of guilt about it. Could be your role in it, you know what I mean? Could be. Maybe you had a sense of vanity. 
or this person did to other people are vain, you know, challenged with vanity. And they not done. You know, they did some shit that's fucked up and they either not hearing what they like from spirit, they don't. And now they got a sense of guilt. And not everybody handle that shit, you know, uh, responsibly. They just don't. They don't. Spirit say, hell no, nah, no nah, to the no, no, no. Instead of them being accountable and responsible for what they did, they just, you know, drink they self out of the sense of guilt. Yeah, what did I say? Destiny. They came against your destiny. And whoever did this, it ain't over with. It's not. It's not over with. And you got to persevere through it. You know, that's a challenge to persevere through whatever the heck happened. Until you get to this recovery, you don't see it. It's on the bottom. But was this done by somebody that was supposed to be a soulmate? Somebody that was close to you? I said, we're going to put that right. <laughs> Anywho, it was supposed to be somebody that was a soulmate. You know, look at this instinct. You, it followed your instinct, maybe. And find the key to recovery. Yeah, the instinct say to release. It's time to release some shit. Yeah, release what? Grief. Because you don't have to be over it to be over it. Like, you don't have to be through it to be over it. My situation, I done blocked all them dudes. Yeah. Know your self-worth. You know what I mean? I done blocked all them folks. Like, I'm not fucking with nobody. I stepped into my passion, into my service. You know, redirect that passion onto self. I told y'all, yep, reject them. I told you, blocked all that shit. And redirect that passion back onto self. And to see how did it grow me? What did it do for me? Hold on, y'all, I want to get my beer. Can I have it? Forgiveness, yeah. Forgiveness leading to renewal. And that's just how I did it. It's something else in here. Yeah, that's the wisdom. Forgiveness. Ooh, miracles. Forgiveness leading to renewals. And that wisdom, that's that's true. That's real shit. And that's what leads you to miracles. You can transmute all of that energy and create something new. Renewal. Get my beer. Be right back. Maybe five. Just have a little bit of grace. I appreciate your grace. Thank you so much, y'all. So, that was that. You know, I do put work a lot. You know. But, that's just how I cope. I put myself into work, into service, yo. Into service. <sighs> Thanks, sis Shanita. Love the advice. Love, um, you know, the synchronicities and the messages. I always get such good shit when I listen to her. She always be right on it. I'm telling y'all. I really appreciate her readings. She definitely expands me, expands my mind, expands my instinct. Because a lot of times when I say something in her comments, she get ready to say it or she say it. Or she ends up saying stuff in a different kind of way than what I've seen and it's just that affirmation and confirmation which is pretty cool I'll show you this yeah because perseverance and renewal is the thing it is the thing right and a lot of people have been going through it again patience dealing with people who are envious and those who refuse to surrender and those who refuse to change yeah but for me I did surrender and I, and I linked into changing, and that gave me purpose. I'm definitely not indecisive about it, but I know others are. But I just said, release the judgment, you know. Release the judgment. There's no need to judge self. It's not. It's no need to judge self. It's no need to judge others. Let it go. Let it go. Let it flow. But I'm feeling, yes, yeah, some people got regret. They're going to regret what they did. Sometimes I regret the choices that I made, but then I had to come to get, get. I had to come to good with it. The choices that I made in relationships, yeah, that was a challenge. You know, but I had to come to good with it that the people that 
I linked up with, I did it for a purpose. It took a long time to figure out like what was the purpose because I didn't understand it. I really didn't get it until it was revealed onto me that it was a soul contract that I was supposed to go through it. Why? So I can be cracked all the way open so I can do this right here. It was a part of my awakening. And for that, I'm grateful because I had the ability to persevere. We saw that in the chakra gave me perseverance and endurance it did and so i released the judgment and the questions about why i was so indecisive yeah like i said i did question like why the fuck did i do that shit like that was dumb but i realized that it was for my life purpose to change me surrendering even though i dealt with all of that envy yeah the people who came against my success, though, they definitely are failures. But I feel like I was successful in learning the lesson and learning how to release judgment and change, right? Let's separate these a bit. You know, I'm hot as hell all of a sudden. I feel like somebody getting hell hot. Maybe it's just blame because people definitely do be blaming folks. And they might feel a little bit lonely. Happiness versus loneliness. Loneliness versus success. It's all kind of mess. Okay, we're tapping out of that because we don't want to talk about that. No, no, no. Ring the bell on it. Yes. Clear that out. But I just wanted to talk about that because I just was watching that. And I was like, oh, that's Kawinky Dink. She always be saying stuff that's so, you know, affirmation. Affirmation, validation. Yes, which one? Moonstone, moon crystal. Let's get a moonstone. Because I felt, um, I told y'all, I felt some energy like, you know, people always be doing moon magic and moon fuckery. And it's be like, that's why Spirit told me to cover up my crown lately. Because people be doing so much. It's like you have to protect yourself. I got to turn this fan around, y'all. I'm hot as shit. I feel like hell hot. The flames. Either somebody's super pissed or something. Woo. So y'all probably going to hear my fan in the microphone. Let me move it back a little bit. But I had to, y'all, because it's hot. I'm telling you. It's hot. It's heating up. It is heating up. Lion's Gate is like right here, y'all. What y'all know about Lion's Gate? Another one of my favorite readers, Soulful King. You know, he was talking about, like, give a real, he was talking about it, but kind of gave a real good ex. Description of what Lion's Gate is and uh, the significance. So. Thank you, Alpha. Thank you, Omega, for being here. Thank you for guiding me through this message. Thank you for protecting me as we channel the message. Let it be edifying onto self, edifying onto your week. Anybody that needs this message that we are speaking, bring them in and let them receive it. Turn enemies into your friends. Maybe that's what we're going to talk about. Right? When someone is aggressive and in your face, stay calm, watch, and learn. They may simply want to be heard, and the more they say, the more they educate you about their problem. Don't shout back or walk away. Stay silent and listen. You may be able to find a solution for them, thus turning a perceived enemy into an ally, an ally which is a rare and precious skill. Better decisions lead to a better life. That's a better decision than to get upset, walk off, and scream and yell and all that stuff when you can just be quiet and listen. One thing that's not only about turning an enemy into an ally by listening to them and helping them find a solution while they talk about their issue, right? Because every problem has a solution baked in. But another thing is you let people talk long enough, they'll tell on themselves. That's what I think is cool. We can think about that. 
Use fire with care and water with impunity. Fire, like anger, we talked about anger um, earlier today, is a powerful but unpredictable and it is powerful but it is unpredictable and can cause lasting damage among the vanquished. Water, which shapes its course according to the nature of the ground over which it flows, soothes the argument and slowly without destroying your opponent turns them towards your point of view. While fire can deliver victory, water delivers increased strength. And I think that that's beautiful because it goes right with turn your enemies into friends. Every time we set out to solve a problem, we are declaring war on that problem. Our lives are the combined outcome of all the decisions we have made. That's why I say forgiveness onto self and to others. Because we make a decision to be in to engage in every scenario. We do. You know. And if you don't know that people are doing something against you, then you don't know what that is. And it's like, okay, whatever, there's nothing to do with it. But if you are aware of the strife, you get to choose how to deal with it. You can fight fire with water, or you can fight fire with fire. This, you know, uh, Art of War says fight fire with water, you know, to help turn your enemies into friends, into allies. And then it's like, keep your enemies what is it keep your friends close or your enemies closer or something like that what is that saying keep your allies close with your enemies closer or your enemies closer yeah it's one of them ones where you you might want to pull your enemies closer to you that way you have a different purview you have a more of a watchful eye on them and you can see what they up to and if you could sway their decision by how you operate just by listening and to give them again a solution to their own problems turning a salty situation into a sweet situation then that's all the better for you it's a strategy of war Yeah, I'm going to have to look up what that saying is and post it. Because I think it's like, keep your friends close, enemies, your friends close and your enemies closer or something like that. Either way. Um, it says, rather than focus on the outcomes of those decisions, we should review how those outcomes came to be, came to be, to become better decision makers. This card is like weird. Rather than focus on the outcomes of those decisions, we should review how those outcomes came to be to become better decision makers. So basically, again, looking at self, how did I make the decision? Why did I make the decision? Why did I engage in such a way? Reviewing yourself, introspection, right? And then you can see why did you choose what you chose why did you engage the way that you engage and you become um, more skilled at making decisions whether you should use fire whether you should use water and how do you turn your enemies into your friends how do you keep your enemy close your friends close and your enemies closer yeah how do you do that so that you can relieve the strife self-forgiveness spirit is tapping and it's right back to wisdom see that wisdom self-forgiveness nobody's perfect we saw the perfect come out that perfect card nobody's perfect no matter what aspects you may not like about yourself you can be sure that there are a million other people who feel the same way about themselves forgive yourself your weakness and your mistakes focus instead on your strengths on what makes you you and remember that you are as worthy of forgiveness as anyone else I accept myself for who I am I forgive myself for my mistakes and I use them to become stronger I use them to become stronger stronger decision makers to determine whether I should fight with fire 
which is gonna blow shit up and, 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 and exponentiate the heat to elevate things? Or should I use water to calm things, to douse out the flames? Should I keep this person close, just stay silent and listen, they yelling and flipping out, but maybe I should just be silent and help them come to a solution? That would have helped me in one of my scenarios in the past. It will, that's wisdom, it is. That's something that I've learned. Wisdom is the fundamental gift that the journey of life offers. Every day is a new opportunity to learn something new about ourselves or about life in general. From our experiences, both positive and negative, from our thoughts and interactions, from our successes and our mistakes, we saw success and failure in the journey. We can develop wisdom and use it to enrich our lives and to impact the world to the best of our abilities. We see determination and we see embracing mindfulness. Be mindful. Determination. No matter how capable... Do you want this? No matter how capable a person is, no important goal has ever been achieved without determination. Determination, perseverance. It is the drive to fulfill our potential, your destiny. The ability to concentrate on what needs to be done without distractions. It is what separates the merely talented from the achiever of greatness. I have huge potential to flourish in life. I will never lose sight of what I want to achieve. Somebody bitter about that, though. Somebody got some bitterness. Maybe they don't have the determination and perseverance or clear thinking, because clear thinking is here. Maybe they are raging against their nature. Yeah. That nature. Because we see regrets again. And we just saw regrets here. It is a fact that nothing positive in the world has ever been brought about by bitterness. No matter what injustice we have suffered. And some, of course, take a lot more time to overcome than others. And that's what we were saying. That a lot of this stuff is just just isn't done a lot of people are suffering through situation after situation after situation and it seems like every time you get through a situation then here comes another situation for you to get through like they compound and they stack and it's like um one of another readers was mentioning post-traumatic stress disorder but a, one that doesn't get talked about very often is complex post-traumatic stress disorder c ptsd and it's um, either complex or compounded, depending on who you listen to. But the discipline is really complex post-traumatic stress disorder. And it's when you've gone through so many different traumatic experiences that they, they stack and compound each other. So you're not just triggered by one terrifying or traumatic event. It is a series or multiple events. And either one of them can throw you into an anxiety fit. It can make you shut down. It can make you go through any one of those five phases of, you know, when you are triggered. It's not just a fight or flight. It's like the fight, the flight, the freeze, the fawn. And it's another one and I, it's eluding me at um, this moment. But Fight, flight, freeze, fawn. It's another one. I can't remember number five right now. But look it up, though, y'all. I'm going to look it up, too, because it was, um, it's pretty important. Do you want anything else out of here? No. Yeah. Purpose. The purpose of me saying that is important because people um, tend to think that when you are afraid, there's only two responses. Like, um, it's fight or flight, and that's not true. It's fight, flight, fawn, freeze, and it's another one, right? And to fawn, is almost like... Um, 
I feel like it's the one that gives compliments. Like you almost want to bring them into a state of camaraderie and, and create a sense of brotherhood and connectivity with the person who is offending you. Like maybe if you develop a relationship just that quick, they may not hurt you. To freeze, you know what that, that is, right? To fight, we know. To, to flee is another one. Flight, run away. Um, definitely people don't think about freeze. When you freeze up and you just sit there, that comes from being in a state of not having any choice. Sometimes you can't run and sometimes you just can't fight. If you are in a situation where your attacker is bigger than you and they can easily overpower you and you have that fear of death, it's like, okay, I can't fight. And you may be backed into a corner in such a way where you can't run. So what does your body do? Your body says freeze. Like if I just freeze, if I just be still, either it's not happening or I could just get through it. I can make it through it. I'd be okay. And again, you could try to, you know, get a sense of camaraderie. You know, start talking about yourself. You know, my name is Lati and I'm a mother and I have X amount, you know, this, that, and the other. I have a, a child at home that's waiting for me and my, you know, they're going to be worried. And, and how are you? And what is your name? And, you know, you know, trying to make a connection and, and get them to see you as human. And if you if they see you as human, then maybe they won't hurt you, right? It's developing that connectivity, and people try to do it real fast in the moment to maybe break up your attacker's mentality. And depending on how many different situations you've gone through, you can have multiple layers of complex post-traumatic stress disorder where everything you know well multiple things can come at you in different ways and you have different fear responses that was for somebody I needed to say that we need to find the strength to free our minds and hearts of bitterness to be at peace with the world and find contentment in the things that we cherish I take control of my emotions and banish bitterness from my life. I am a happy and peaceful soul. And maybe that's why I felt the need to say it. Because I feel like, you know, going through multiple layers of compounded, complex, post-traumatic stress, um, or just all those layers of traumatic experiences, we can become bitter. You know, we can... Uh, hold on to the fear and the mistrust of other people and it makes it very hard to connect going forward and how can you have happiness and lead into joy when you are full of mistrust and jealousy and bitter and in bitterness and envy you know it, and maybe our enemies some of them wouldn't be enemies if we fight fire with water a steady flow of you know a steady flow of emotion that can help douse the anger help put out their fire replenish them in a spirit right in some sort of way it's like lending out a calm hand without ever saying anything you could just be silent and listen and sometimes when they listen to themselves, then they can see their pathway forward. Like, that is not even about you. Like, I'm mad, but I'm not really mad at you. I'm mad at the decisions that I made, and they need to lend it to lean into their own sense of self-forgiveness. You know, like, come to terms with the decisions that they made in order to lend themselves or get themselves in the position that they're in. And we know a lot of people are just not ready to do that. And, and they get angry and they get bitter. I don't know y'all, I just felt like I needed to say that. Yes. We got our angel messages. I just feel like, you know, like the card says to, you know, fight fire with care, you know, and water with impunity, you know, to 
put some water on the fire because it's like if everybody responds with a fire fire intensity or if our response is fire to fire then we just gonna burn the whole world down we're gonna burn everything down and who really wants that nobody wants to burn down and that's what we're doing we're just burning up it's like this right here is that what you want is that it okay it's like this I'm looking at this it reminds me of this you can see that they both on fire you know where it's like either it's ashes or it's dirt but I feel like that chaos is hot remember your purpose remember your purpose what is your purpose this says practice patience. We saw patience. It kept coming out. No, we just talked about fear, but this is purpose. Improving health, guilt, relationships, fear, growth, and freedom. This says practice patience. You know, some of the relationships, relationships are an assignment. And maybe some of them are here to tell us, to teach us to walk, practice patience. And I just shuffled that card right back in there. Spend time alone. Maybe you need to spend some time alone. All decisions must be made by yourself. Give yourself the time and space to seek the answers that you need. Go within instead of without. Honing into your own power. Dance. Change the energy so that you can break free. Break it free. Of whatever that you feel that you are entangled with. Or until you can. Practice patience. Conditions outside us sometimes determine the best time to move forward. Wait and work on something else until these conditions change. We talked about the fact that a lot of people are stuck in the middle of these situations and we just have to have patience while they are concluding, while they are being wrapped up. And maybe you have to spend time alone so that you can continue to transmute and break down and digest all the energy of what has happened to you and let it dissipate and fall away. Giving yourself space and time. Because those outside conditions, sometimes they determine the best time to move forward. Sometimes you can't move forward until outside conditions have been met. I listened to somebody talk about how they are challenged by outside conditions. People that are supposed to do something. And in order for you to move forward, you are relying on other people to do their freaking job. That's an outside condition that you can't control. What do we have to do in that moment? We either can fight fire with fire, we can throw some water on it, we can try to listen and see if there's anything else we can do to help the solution, or we just have to practice patience. Co-creator, get up. You know, things are happening for us, not to us. And to figure out why and how it's happening to us, we might have to spend some time alone and see. I know what I am here to do. I do. I'm here to bring messages from the spirit. Yes, yeah, spend time alone. Rest. Conserve your energy. Again, divine timing is always spot on. Surrender control and take a break. Spend time alone. So that you can heal. Continue to heal. Wounds need to be acknowledged before they can heal. Especially those unseen. Give yourself the time, the space, whatever is necessary to regain your wholeness. 
divine timing is always spot on and when outside conditions cause us to wait we can work on something else until the conditions change look deeper can help us look deep deep into self introspection giving us time to do that to look deep so that we can heal there is more beneath the surface remain cool throw some water on it practice some patience so that you can get into some self-forgiveness or you don't create more reasons to issue self-forgiveness because you fought fire with fire there is more beneath the surface remain cool and centered take time to look at the deep underlying currents and follow your intuition yeah get up no matter how far we have fallen we must try again all is not lost until we give up don't give up get up change your environment our environment support and undermine us support or undermine us Give more attention to where you live, work, rest, and play. Create surroundings that support you. We saw rest. We saw work. Get up. We saw play. I shuffled it back in there. Right? So, I know there is one person that I still watch and follow. Um, I know they're going through because you can hear it in the messages and a lot of times tarot is a good way for us to find out what's going on with self right and the things that are going on around us and in our environment right it helps us look deeper it helps us to discover that's why I say every message is edifying self edification first because this life journey is for me to learn this is in reverse embracing sensitivity appreciating beauty requires sensitivity a vulnerable feeling somebody may be not feeling vulnerable or the ability to be vulnerable yet the world needs more sensitivity not less there's not enough sensitivity you know embrace it don't deny your emotional needs offer grace offer grace that's a challenge make decisions based on what your heart can live with it says even with the wrong decisions we receive grace after we've shown it to others and it's so funny embrace exercise gratitude that's always a good one gratitude you want to read that Everyone is a co-creator in this shared experience of life. Gratitude for all things overcomes our resistance to challenges and it spurs our growth. And we saw kind of like that here. Purpose, health, releasing guilt. It's healthy to release guilt. Relationships, fear, and growth. that leads us to freedom that was up underneath that we grow towards our own personal freedom but we kind of shuffled this and that heart chakra is sitting there make choices based on what your heart can live with even the wrong decisions we receive grace after we've shown it to others show others grace the frequency of the heart chakra, the green flower of life, supports our capacity to love deeply and unconditionally. Its healing properties harmonize the mind and the body. Consciousness. The frequency of consciousness supports our ability to focus our attention on the multidimensional aspects that show up so that we can include them in our reality. Divine timing is always spot on. Surrender control and take a break. Surrender control. There is um, an unlimited potential, potential ability 
to I hear that there is unlimited just potentiality in our choice making itself, right? We can choose to attack any problem and solution, uh, any problem or challenge to get to the solution in a variety of ways. Like there's a lot of different pathways we can take. But to remain conscious of the fact that we are multidimensional right that um everything has an impact not only an impact on self but on creation itself and how does every decision play into our higher purpose like how is it impacting us so that we learn how to be better decision makers in order to lead to a better life there's always going to be things outside of our control that's going to come into us. Those unforeseen challenges, again, things that are, that are just outside of our hands. And even how we attack that and receive that makes a difference. It does. We don't have to declare a war on every problem. We don't. Our lives are combined and are the combined outcome of all the decisions we have made, both important and unimportant, good and bad, conscious and unconscious. The frequency of consciousness supports our ability to focus our attention on the multidimensional aspects that show up so that we can include them in our reality, in our day to day. What are all the multidimensional aspects? How can we focus our attention? How do we do that in a way that when we solve our problems or when we attack the problem, assess the problem, we can do that and, and become better decision makers? Do I fight with fire? Do I fight with water? Do I sit back and be silent and listen? Or do I come back and retort? Do I react? Do I respond? How do, what should my response be? How do I take this foe and turn them into an ally? How do I retrain my mind in terms of my responses so that if I am a, a freeze person, I might fawn or I might fight or I might um, just do things in a more diplomatic way where I have a better outcome for self, I say, what is for my highest good? And am I conscious of that? Am I able to, to react in that way despite everything that I've gone through? If I look deeply at myself and I can heal from some of those layers of trauma, how I respond to my triggers will be different. It's going to be different. And then I, I know that I have what it takes to keep myself safe, that I'm safe, I'm whole, I'm complete. And that even if I see you as an enemy, how do I turn that around for the betterment of me? Even if that means that I block you out. Even if that means I'm just silent and listen and maybe see if I can help you to a solution and now you become an ally. Better yet, a friend. Like, it's so many different ways to think about it. And spending time in the hermit mode to discover how it is that we handle these conflicts and this chaos and the drama, it does it, it, it just helps us at the end of the day as individuals. Because I know for sure that I, I don't want to continue the same cycles. I don't. That's not what my desire is. And and not even just cycles of self, but calling in relationships or dealing with relationships with people who will come against to hurt me yeah that's evolving that's stepping into that empress energy that's growing fertility and growth despite all the conflict despite the aggression despite the battles how do i approach it with love and nurturing even when somebody is coming at me with a lot of passion I, like i can use that um i feel this boss leader energy with strategy 
to overcome anybody that's coming against me. All the challenges, all the difficult endings that are still in, um, ongoing, that are still ensuing, because this is not over. It's still going on. It may have you held up and delayed, but how you respond to it, how you think through it, how you lead yourself through it is the thing to come to terms with. Because I see sacrifice and surrenderance here. In action, thinking, you know, because maybe you just need to listen and see how you can turn your enemies into allies. How do you use water? How do you use water? Ace of Cup, love. Instead of being impulsive and leave, leaving yourself feeling at a lack, even if it's a lack of energy. It's always people that are going to come with these illusions that are going to hide the truth, that are going to lie, that are going to uh, work behind the scenes, that are going to be stalking, that are going to be watching, investigating you for some sort of reason, even if it's for truth or not for truth, just to, to use things against you. They're always going to do that. But if we know that, we can approach it differently. That's the art of war. Playing ahead. Don't make it up as you go along. Playing ahead. Playing ahead. Don't make it up as you go along. Playing ahead. Don't make it up as you go along. I see that. So, the three of wands is after the two, which is planning. Now you're just waiting for it to come in because you've already planned ahead. You just got to sit back and watch. Spirit is good, ain't it? Love it. Anything else in this? No, I love it. Nope. I see the Four of Cups and I see the Eight of Swords. You plan ahead. All of those who plotted against you behind the moon are definitely going to be caught off guard. They will. And they ain't going to want none of what is going to come after them because it's going to leave them locked up. Again, that's the art of war. They're the ones going to be in mental imprisonment. You know. Maybe that's why they feel bitter. Because you're moving on to success with this six of wands. To your wish fulfillment. And you know how to manifest it. Two of Cups energy. Star energy. Healing energy. Bringing in great opportunity. Brand new beginnings. Spiritual growth. Potential spiritual manifestation. Moving forward to calmer waters. Calmness. Lead by the hierophant purpose and there's that emperor and we already saw you grow into the empress yeah get through the test learn the lessons the journey is what's most important I keep seeing windfall here abundance I also see loyal heart That's the two. Emperor and Empress. Both crowned. It's beautiful. Yeah. That's the Queen of Cups right there. We definitely see a windfall though. Abundance. You're about to receive a windfall of money. Your money is in a positive cycle. And this is a great time to treat yourself. I don't think that. I think we should still be prudent. And be planful. 
maybe somebody is turning into a teacher. You know, maybe those who are going to be in the Four of Cups are going to learn a lesson. Allowing life to be the teacher because life is the greatest teacher. Oftentimes, they don't want to hear nothing that you got to say anyway. That's why you just be sit back and be silent, I should. Let life teach them. This was good for them. We saw the health over here. Health. Honor yourself and honor your vessel that enshrines your soul. Rest. Rejuvenate. Ground. Take care of you. Heal. Heal. Yeah. It's a lot of people that's out there doing some unethical shit. And maybe all the unethical shit that they did, that they spoke against you, is going to come to an end. It's going to end, and they will learn. They will. We got to get through it, though. And each person has to get through it in their own timing. And it won't be the last time. It just won't. You know, and the, every time we encounter these people in these situations, it teaches us how to handle it the next time. Like I said, it's going to happen. Patience. We saw that. Practice patience. It's going to happen. It's going to be unexpected. You're going to have to use some caution. You got an abundance coming, but we said use prudence. Don't run out there and just do whatever with it. You are going to be leveled up. Why is it in reverse? I feel like it's... Source says to be ready for the next level. Maybe we still have more preparation to do before the next level comes. Now is the time to get ready. If you get ready and stay ready, well, if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. You get ready and stay ready, you'll always be ready. Always be ready. Anything else in here, beloved? Something to do with media. Maybe somebody's media project is going to be successful. Step into the spotlight and get seen. Don't, don't allow your talent to go unnoticed. A career in television, radio, magazine, any mass media job might be perfect for you. So it could be television or radio because we said no to magazine. No magazine, television, radio. Be a sport about it. Be a sport. It's all about how you roll with the game. How do you play the game right now? Smart strategy. Almost like a team player with your spiritual team, I feel. Because success is going to find you. It is. You got to believe it, though. Success is going to find you. No. Invest in you. Use your time right now to invest in you. To go within. Go within self. To heal. To look deeper. To see what is teaching you. How are you changing your ability to make better decisions? And to skill yourself up in turning enemies into your allies take a salty situation or a sour situation and turn it into something sweet, building relationships and camaraderie. How do you respond to your triggers when something triggers you? Do you fawn? Do you freeze? Do you fight? Do you flee? What is it that you do? 
maybe you can approach it with diplomacy. Of course, that's not going to be for every situation. You have to choose the answer that fits. But that allows us to be better at making those decisions. Yes. So, in the meantime, in between time, give yourself a big dose of self-forgiveness. And when you forgive others and do it with a sense of patience, because these things, they're not over. A lot of people are going through it, like very much in the middle of it. And it's very difficult to say, oh, just get over it when you're right in the middle of it. Oh, you just need to let this go, and they just need to let it go. Why are you still holding on? Well, because it's outside things that you just can't control. If you're going through a divorce, you can't control when the shit get done always. You can do your part, but you can't force others to do what they need to do. You can't force the judge to give you a stamp seal and, and like call it done. You have to wait for the process. If you moving and other people need to do their job, you can't, you know, you got to wait for them to do what they got to do. You can stay on them and be like following up and all of that shit and do your planning, but it's a portion that you that, that's just outside of your control. What you gonna do? If some people are gang stalking you and they watching you online and they talking shit behind your back, what can you really do about that? Nothing. You can only work on self and your own responses to see what is it doing for you. How does it help me going through this experience? this piece in my journey what purpose am I to derive from this and sometimes that's just it to develop the skill to make better decisions to learn how to forgive others and forgive self or to set you up to be leveled up because sometimes when we feel like we done been knocked two, three steps back, it's so that you can learn something and take the fuck off. Like it be the shot you, slingshot you forward. Because I feel that analogy of the arrow, right? You take that arrow and the further back, 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 you pull it and you learning to take aim because you developing that vision. And before you know it, that tension is so tight that when it releases, Ooh, baby, how far does that arrow go? It take flight. Get ready to level up. Get ready to level up. Let's get ready. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Yes. Let's get it, Rick. Let's get it. Let's get it, my week. Let's get it. Y'all, get it, my week. Let's get it. We finna get it. I know it's true. You keep working, and success will find you. To the next now, y'all, I love you. This is your girl, La T, here at Tim's and to Roll Show, where you show up, never know what you're going to get. Get some rest, because we tired. <laughs> but perseverance is here. You can do it. You can make it because you have spiritual strength in buckets, in buckets, in buckets. And it's right there for the taking. The Alpha and the Omega are with you always. Tap in. Stay in touch. Stay grounded. That's pretty much it for the Super Saiyan secret. <laughs> to the next now, y'all. This was done. Mwah. I'll